Hello everyone, this is Anshul and today we are going to discuss about 8 puzzle problem. So what is 8 puzzle problem? In 8 puzzle problem, it's a simple game in which you have been given 3 by 3 matrix in which one of the square is empty or we can denote it with uh, different values like we have denoted here with 0. The object is the objective is to move square around into different position and have the number displayed in the goal state so what we need to do here we need we have 0 and all these numbers are from 1 to 8 so what we need to do we need to place this 0 to its adjacent like 0 can be placed on the position of 4 on the position of 1 on the position of 7 and if we have any value on the left side then we can place it to left side as well so what would be the possible states like left right top and bottom and we have to place this zero until unless we reach our goal so how we will be solving this in order to solve this we need to uh, use three kind of structure in which we will be placing uh, we will be exploring all the possible states like here you can see what I have did here is I have placed 0 to its possible states like I have placed on top 0 to 1, 1 to 0 we have replaced 0 to 1, 1 to 0 and bottom so what we what I have done here uh, I have just replaced 7 to 0 and 0 with 7 and here I have uh, just pushed it to right so 4 to 0 and 0 to 4 so we have just swapped their positions let's see this in uh, more visualize, uh, visualization view so what is BFS basically in BFS what we do is we explore each and every element right so here if you see we have explored all the three elements of this the possible states basically the possible states of the matrix so what we are doing here is we are exploring all the possible states and then we will pick this one and we'll explore all the possible states we will pick this and explore all possible states and we will pick this one as well all the possible states so we are going breadth wise you know we are going breadth wise we are exploring each and every node until unless we reach our goal so here you can see I have uh, what I have done is I have just first use right then up then down you can use it accordingly you can push it to up first then right then left and then bottom it's your choice so here you can see we have just uh, explored the very first initial matrix into three nodes so all possible nodes have been explored next so now we will be exploring we have already explored depth 0 and we found out that there are three possible moves now we will find out what are the possible moves of this node so here you can see this could be moved to top to right to left to bottom but if you see we have given only three nodes we have explored only three nodes why is it so because if you move it to left you will be reaching to the initial state again so we are not doing this we are just uh, using the unique states so what I did is I have just moved it to bottom top and right so what I did is I have explored all the possible states except the very first state which we are getting again by moving it to left. Next is now we have explored all possible state for the very first element. Now we will explore the all, all the possible moves of the second node of this. So here what are the possible moves as you can see we can move it to right we can move it to bottom so if you move it to right there is no problem there is no duplicate here in this series if you move it to bottom then you will be able to see that this is the again this is the initial state so what we have done we have just explored the unique node so if you move it right then you would be able to see that this is the unique state in all the nodes next we have explored the sec, uh, very th uh, very last node so it could be moved to right to up so we have only two possible moves so we have moved it to right if we move it to above then 
you can see 7 will be on the place of 0 and 0 will be at the place of 7. So what you will get 1, 2, 3, 0 because we are placing 0 to 7 and 7 to 0. 0, 4, 6, 7, 5, 8, 7, 5, 8. So we have not explored the duplicate state. So right now what we have, we have all the possible states which are unique. So till now we have discovered depth 2. Now what is the next step? We need to explore each state for all these nodes, each possible state. So it could be three states for this, one, two, three states for this, one, two and three state for this, three state for this and three state for this. And we will see all three state has to be unique. If there is no unique state, then we will not include it here in this exploration. So this is our stage three. We have already explored the red area. If you see here, this is already been explored. So now what we will do, we will explore this area. So as you can see, I can move zero to right to left to above. We cannot move it to below because it is out of boundary. So once I have moved it to right, our goal is reached. We can move it to left. We can move it to top as well. So here we have moved it to top and here we have moved it to left. So this is not our goal state. Here you can see our goal state is reached. So once our goal state is reached, we just we will just stop the program. And yeah, that's all about breadth first search. If let's suppose if our goal state is not reached here, then we will need to explore all the possible states of this, this, this and this. And we will be following the same steps again and again and again and again until unless we found out our result. So that's all from my side. In the next video, I'll see you because in the next video, I'll be discussing the program related to BFS. If you have any queries, then you can uh, reach out to me through the comments. Thanks. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you.